Hey everybody, greetings to all the commanders and the captains out there. I salute you, 07. I am R1Z Danny Vega, or you can simply call me Danny Vega or Danny. And it's gonna be a first video out of many, I'm hoping. And I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for my uh, brother Ben. Shout out to you. Uh, he has a gaming channel on YouTube here, um, and he does horror videos. Oh no, not horror videos, horror games like Five Nights at Freddy's, Grandma. I think it was one of his games. Um, if you like that, if you like scares, jump scares, and all that stuff, um, I have his channel link in the description. Um, hit that link and go give him a follow, subscribe, and give him a like too. And comment down below in his videos that I sent you there so once again shout out to you Ben he inspired me to buy parts for my PC build it from the ground up and just get into all the technical aspects of a PC and get into gaming because I, I really wanted to do this like for so long I just didn't have the drive or didn't have the motivation to or the knowledge as you know you need knowledge to build a pc for up until this time before i bought my pc i've been playing on console i was on the xbox one and um if you do look at my channel uh romeo one zulu um the recent videos there are from elite dangerous so i've been a long time elite dangerous fan um i've been a pilot i've been an explorer mostly you know i've also played in some other games like No Man's Sky and Star Citizen. Now if you encompass all those three games, it's basically a space sim and like I really like, you know, spaceships flying through space, traveling to planet to planet, system to system. Well, you know, also like, you know, like going to a planet, landing on a planet like in No Man's Sky or Star Citizen and even recently in Elite Dangerous they have Odyssey which I think is still in beta. It's a term we sci-fi enthusiasts like to call space legs. So, because like in Elite Dangerous, um, for the majority of the plays, we've been stuck in our seat and haven't been able to get our feet on the ground. So I really like that aspect. And I believe Starfield, which is the game I'm gonna be playing right now, uh, or pretty soon basically all that rolled into one you know into a really good package so today i'm playing starfield i'm be playing a new character um i've have played before on other characters um i just haven't recorded it or you know i really wanted to do something different something new so today i'm gonna do a gameplay video but with a little change i want to tell a story with this character plus I'm playing a female character. Notes about that later on. First, it's going to be a narrative video. The character's name is Galilea Keys. What she's about to do, her reactions to the scene and context. And also, um, I'm a video editor too. Um, I really like you know editing videos and then working with different tools, software. I've recently gone into AI. I do. Um, AI voice generating uh, through Eleven Labs. Their software is you basically type in a um, text, like sentence. It could be a paragraph. It could be even a novella if you want to. And you select a preset uh, voice, or you can make your own voice too. Make it younger, make it older, make it have a different accent, British, Australian, Indian, anything. I think the sky's the limit for that kind of software. But you you type in the text and it will speak the text out um, consistently or randomly if you want. Uh, you can there's things you can tweak with the software. Now uh, I plan since the character in Starfield doesn't have a voice, we're usually us players are voicing it. But since I'm a guy, and if you, <laughs> the character is a girl or a female, uh, I can't do a female voice. Sorry, I can't. So I, I use the AI software to whenever the character is in dialogue, you know, with another player or in their ship, for example, the character, when I feel that the character likely has a comment 
or a reaction to a certain scene or even a like opinion about another character i'll put that into but anything like plans like inner thoughts i'll narrate that you'll have a narrator not like with a physical sense like oh she walked down the the mine shaft and grabbed the cutter and mined some beryllium no i'll let the images do that for you but if she's thinking something she has a certain mood or she has a certain emotion i'll provide that now if you understood all that if you like this idea um because i'm pretty sure no one no one's really doing this which is a hybrid narrating and post-production um, voice replacement <laughs> if you can call it that uh, if you like that idea feel free to hit the like button and if you want to see more of this video subscribe that's the usual spiel um, and comment down below if you have any ideas for me as a creator as an editor as a player um, go ahead comment down below but we're gonna go in ahead and play some Starfield. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, yeah, I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty, keep your breathing steady, and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with a breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in Freestar Collective space? Fewer regs. A job like this in the United Colonies? Break, you'd be a million. 
millionaire. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, okay. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up. Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. It's just another day for Galilea. Technically, it was her second. Uh, you think we'll be done here soon? Now I hear this is the last dig. She's eager to mine. She's eager to learn the ropes. And according to Lynn, according to Lynn, she was doing fine. You got a few more digs to go before I feel like talking to you. How they sucker you to join? Ball for the fancy pamphlets. Get the readings. Yeah, about that. Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. You don't? What we're after? It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told, anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. Getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just. <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Uh, <laughs> why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. There was something more. For some reason she could feel it as she crested this slope. This was unusual to her. Gravity readings off the charts. Gravity spikes. Nothing could prepare her for what she saw next. At least she was going to get some beryllium out of this.
You're breaking up, Lynn. Do you read? Blue deposit. Kalamite, I believe. There's floating rocks. There was some reason why this one in the center was glowing. Something embedded in the rock. It looked metallic, but there was some otherworldly quality about it. She wondered if she could take it, pry it off the wall somehow. Take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? This looks very familiar. <laughs> Is this one? Yep. Body. We'll, we'll set it on between thin and muscular, but not all out. Maybe this is the sweet spot. Uh, walk style is two. Skin tone a little bit darker. A little bit mocha. Face. Um, so I usually start with the hair. Um, so she's a professor, so I really want her to have a sophisticated look, not like a messy look. Um, that's a nice bun. Um, there's a high bun. Looks very messy though. Oh, there's this one. Uh, 
you'd think that I named her Keys because she looks like Alicia Keys, but this is purely coincidence. Or is it? I'm not changing much here. There we go. Eyebrows. Eyebrow color. Jewelry. Let's move the. Oops. Stay the earrings. Color. Silver. Or a. I would say that color is gunmetal. So we'll choose that one. Dermesthetic. Complexion color channel. Complexion blemishes. Scars. Facial forms, facial forms, tattoos. She's a professor, guys. She's not from Neon. Um, lipstick is... Yeah, no lipstick. We'll do the eyeshadow. Nothing too crazy. Close your eyes. I want to see what it looks like. It's so fast. I think we'll stick with that. Eyeshadow lower. I'll change the color on the eyeshadow. It's not doing anything crazy. Four. Oh yeah, four has that little one in the on the inside. We'll do that. For eyeshadow, I'll change the color. Is there a brown? Ooh, there is a brown. And lower. Here we go. It's all good. That's uh, Galileo Keys. All right, now for her background. So she's professor. Astrodynamics, geology, and research methods are her starting skills. Galileo was always, oh wait, Galileo always enjoyed learning, but nothing could compare to the joy of teaching others. As humankind spread throughout the stars, there was never a lack of knowledge to obtain, and she gladly assisted. And traits. She has empath, um, introvert, and terra firma. Finish. Main character. Galilea. Keys. Confirm. Let's go. That's right. I forgot. The professor. You were really out of place when you first showed up, Dusty. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? There was this 
light, and music. Huh. Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else? Probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Our constellation contact is on approach. Wait, the explorers group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? Whoa, Who does that anymore? you don't anymore? look good. Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Not to them, apparently. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. She remembered these ships. She would ride these all the time on her field trips to Alpha Centauri moons, study rocks on the airless environment. could call it that. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I'd lost them. Barrett? It's weird seeing Lynn just snap to action with that.
piece? Good. Me? I'm just gonna pass out as soon as my heart stops racing. Don't die just yet, kid. Instincts, I think. Really should have paid more attention during those emergency drills. This attack better not be coming out of our pay. We appear to have suffered fewer casualties than would be expected. Fewer? We're still in one piece. Oh god. I'm gonna throw up. Keep it together, Heller. Of course Barrett was being followed. Every time. Hey, you did good there. Kept your head. Thanks, Lynn. work on the pressure you dug up the artifact right that means you saw it the visions you're coming with me to constellation you're part of this now whoa wait i didn't ask for any of this hey um i wasn't gonna bring it up but we don't exactly know what the artifact might have done to your head, and Constellation is really the only group qualified to help. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? Oh, right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but she's not some miner anymore, Lynn. As soon as she touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. What about the mine? Don't you need me? Now that we've been attacked? Oh. We've got to pack up and move on. Argos will come for the rest of us. You get going. No way. Not my job. Don't you get it? You don't have a job here anymore. You're with those explorers now. Like it or not. Just go, all right? Figure out what happened to you when you touched that rock. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco, get her to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there, and it even tells the time. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Why send me? Shouldn't you go? Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. You're giving me your ship? Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. What exactly did we dig up? That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. With your help. Who are you? What's Constellation? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. 
Why was the Crimson Fleet after you? They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. And Vasco, don't let her break my ship. <laughs> It was weird. She was the owner of this ship. On other times, only been a passenger. She wondered what the bike was. Then she saw the cockpit. Never had she been past this door. She thought, this looks like a simulator. But the outside it's all real. The ship was real. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. This all feels real. Maybe too real. Am I dreaming? Thank you. 
continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete. A perfect staging area for pirates. Even though she had flown combat in a simulator, this felt really real. She was just glad to make it out alive. Looking out at the different landscape, out the windows, she knew this, this was totally real. She had fought those ships in space. She had traveled to this moon. She was still alive. Was she, was she born to be a professor or something more? Though she knew there was a joy of learning new things, this was definitely new to her. But to think it all was dropped into her lap in one day. Was fate out to get her? Or was she, or did she have a higher purpose? She wouldn't know until she went out. to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. Why is Barrett trusting me with his ship? Barrett would say that billions of years ago, we were all one with the cosmos. So technically, you have known each other forever. But the more practical answer is likely that he needs you. The number of known people who have been affected by the artifacts is now two. Without your investment in Constellation's mission, he may never know more about the experience you both share. So he is showing you trust in order to gain your support. Why is this Crimson Fleet captain after Barrett? I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death, and often with an object multiple people wanted. Just who are you and Barrett? What's Constellation? Constellation is an explorer's society founded over 50 years ago with the mission of seeking out the unknown. Members often engage in expeditions in small groups, typically one or two people, 
Or, like Barrett and myself, one person and one robot. The membership is intentionally limited and small. Should you join Constellation yourself, you will be the 10th active member. Research facility is in this direction. All right, I'm going to stop there, but dude. This is just still the intro, though. This is still the intro. We haven't got to uh, Jemison, New Atlantis, to the lodge yet. Haven't got the constellation. So expect another video because I I want I really want to do this. If you like this sort of idea, feel free to hit that like, uh, that like button, and subscribe for more. Um, and don't forget, I have linked in the description the channel for ben um i think it's ben samante or just ben um he does horror videos um and he also does other games too but he primarily focuses on horror games so if that's what you like or if you want some variety um click the link subscribe to him and just tell him that i sent you tell him danny vega sent you and I guess see you in the next one, commanders, captains, and whoever else is out there. Peace out.